go over to our Gary Tuckman. He's with a group of voters that we've all gotten to know throughout the campaign as they and he spent debate nights together watching and talking about it. Gary, I know the gang is back assembled. The gang is back together, Anderson. We've watched all five of these Republican debates with the same group of loyal Republicans from Story County, Iowa, right in the middle of the state. The largest city is Ames, Iowa, where Iowa State University is. Four of them we watched on TV in Story County, but we invited them to Des Moines. They took the 35-mile drive down here to watch it in person. It's nice being with all of you again. The very first question I have for you, who do you think won this debate? I'm going to ask for a show of hands. The reason we're with the same group of people all five times is we want to see what's changed in their opinions and what hasn't changed. So, who thinks DeSantis won this debate? One, two, three, four. Who thinks Haley won this debate? One, two, three, four. That's eight. It looks like some people who did not vote. Why didn't you vote? I, I thought Donald Trump won the debate. I thought it was kind of <laughs> Well, clear. he wasn't here, but you're saying he won by not being here. Exactly, yeah. And Jim, I think you think the same thing. Yes, so I do. So four, four, <laughs> two. So we have a draw. What's interesting, interesting, the first debate, you thought Ramaswamy won. The second debate, DeSantis. Third and fourth, Haley. And now we have a draw. For those of you who picked Haley, tell me why you thought Haley won this debate. Well, I think we expected them to go at each other, and, and obviously that's a little bit uncomfortable, but I think she did a good job defending some of the attacks that we've been seeing in the state and really explaining why they were not true, and then also at the same time talking about vision for the future and why she would be the best to go up against Joe Biden, which brings coattails all the way down the ballot. Nothing do you think won the debate? Why do you think DeSantis? I actually think just the opposite. I felt like Haley didn't stand up for herself as much as I'd seen her do in the past. I felt like she was weak, and when she couldn't come up with some answers, she kept deferring to how DeSantis isn't a good leader because he can't manage his campaign finances. Well, the important question we have here after these five debates is are all of you, most of you, when we started, were undecided which Republican candidate you were going to caucus for. None of you were about to switch to the Democrats. But none of you had decided which candidate, or a couple of you had. But now everyone is ready to caucus. Raise your hand if you are ready to caucus for Ron DeSantis. One. Raise your hand if you're ready to caucus for Nikki Haley. One, two. Raise your hand if you're ready to caucus for Donald Trump. One, two, three, four. Is there anyone, any other candidate who anyone else here is going to caucus for? Who did not raise their hand? Three of you. So you're not going to caucus. It's going to be oh, too yeah. cold for you. No. It's supposed to be like 30 caucus. below wind chill on Monday. You're not going? No, oh, I'm just kidding. Yeah. Why, why didn't you raise your hand? You're not, because you're, I'm not decided yet. So who are you thinking between? Between Trump and DeSantis. And how do you make your decision between now and Monday? I don't know. <laughs> you don't know. What about you, Cody? I'm also stuck between uh, Trump and DeSantis. And uh, we'll, I, we'll just see how it goes, I guess, the feeling that I get on Monday. You're going to wait for the feeling. The feeling. The feeling better strike, because <laughs> okay. I don't have an answer now. And who else hasn't decided? You haven't. Yeah, same, same who are, your, who are the candidates, candidates you haven't decided between? Uh, Trump and, and DeSantis. Now, how are you going to decide, Tom? Uh, just keep watching. And keep I Keep watching what? You yeah, watched the it. preeminent debate. I know it. <laughs> uh, I'm looking for a sign. A sign? So, yeah. OK. Well, if it happens while we're talking for the yeah, next minute, let me know. <laughs> Have you learned anything from these five debates? For example, have any of you completely changed your mind about the candidate you were going to caucus for from watching these five debates? Anybody? For example, what were you thinking, Judy, when the, when the debate started? Who were you thinking of caucusing for? I had no idea. That's why I started coming to the debate watch parties so I could watch the debates and have other people and their comments and see if I could if it could help me make up my mind. So no one's changed their mind, basically. Some of you are undecided, but have any of you switched from one candidate to the other? Yes, Cody. I, uh, when these started, I was pretty certain on DeSantis, and he's done good in the debates. It's not that that's changed my mind, but now that Trump is polling a lot better against Biden and has uh, seemingly a much better shot in the swing states, I find myself kind of leaning back towards Trump, and I'm stuck in the middle between But are them. any of you bothered by the fact, maybe politically it makes sense that Donald Trump wasn't here, but you haven't learned anything from him because he wasn't in any of the five debates. Does that bother any of you? 
Yes. I don't think it bothers me. I think you know, he's out on the road a lot. He's doing town halls. He's, you know, at uh, Sioux City. He's in Davenport. He's in Des Moines. And so I, I think that we're really getting a good gauge of where he stands on the issues. Would I like for him to come to the debates? Of course I would. But I think it helps him not being here because all they would do is attack him because he's a clear front runner. And so I think at the end of the day, Donald Trump won this debate. And I think that um, that's why a lot of people are going to go out well, and talk to him. Well, he didn't win this debate. He wasn't at this debate. What do you think about it? Um, I think that you have to earn the vote of Iowans. And not showing up the debates, not putting in the work, not even visiting you know, a majority of counties in Iowa, you're losing Iowans vote by not caring about them. Well, regarding the abortion issue, he's been criticized for that. He, he could have cleared it up if he was here. Does that trouble any of you? I would like to see him at least at this debate. I certainly understood the strategy of not detaining the first ones, but I would like to have seen him here. But it, it certainly hasn't dissuaded uh, my mind. Final question for you all. Were these debates good for the Republican Party? Yes. yes. All right, do you, are you confident the Republican Party is going to win this presidential election? Yes. Yeah. Any of you have any doubts? No. Not even because of some of the things Donald Trump is accused of and might get in a lot of trouble for? Well, you are innocent to proven guilty, but it remains to be seen what happens to him. But you're all confident about your party's chances. Yes. Thank you all for talking with us. It's we, what we want to end this by saying is thank you for joining us each of these five times. Pleasure meeting all of you. And Nikki Haley won most of these debates. So there are two and a half of them because she split the win this time. But it's Donald Trump who's going to get most of these people's votes at the caucus five days from now.